गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन मॉर्निंग वी डिस्कस अबाउट सोइल व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सोइल एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट आर द सोइल एंड व्हाट इज मीन बाय सोइल इरोजन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सोइल एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज सोइल पोल्यूशन व्हाट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सोइल व्हाट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ Second one is what is the second one? Soil erosion. What? Soil erosion. What is the third one? Sir, third one is soil pollution. What? Soil pollution. These are the three topics that we are going to learn now. The first one is properties of soil. What are the properties of soil? There are different types of properties of soil. What properties of soil? In this, the first one is soil texture. What texture? T E X T U R E. Soil texture. What is meant by texture? Can anybody say what is meant by texture? Listen. Texture means when you touch a soil or any particle, you need to tell what is the type of soil. For example, if you we already discussed three types of soils. What are they? Clay, loamy, sandy. So three types of soils we discuss already. So now. From those three types of soils, how can you differentiate by seeing a soil or by seeing its structure or by touching or sense? How can you differentiate the three types of soils? Let us think. Soil texture means by touching or by sense. By touching, you can differentiate what is the type of soil. And then, here is the one. Put here the type of soil. The most common one. A day type soil. And here is the one which I put here. सो अदर एग्जापल क्ले सोई उ क्ले पटे जिगर जिगर का मट्टी मट्टी उ सो बै टिंग इट यू कैन सी दट क्ले सोई लोमी सोई चिना टी पार्टिकल अद शांडी अच्छे मैं हाउस कंस्ट्रक्षन के बाद यूजा कदा इंट आड़ी कट सो अभी शांडी सोई सो बै टी दाइल यू कैन डिफरशिट आर यू कैन टेल वाट दि टाइप आफ सोई That is called soil texture. By touching the soil, you can differentiate the soil. That is called soil texture. This is the first property of soil. Next, what is the second property? What? Second property: soil structure. What? Soil structure. Structure means shape. What is the shape? Sh structure means The soil particles shape, so it is defined as soil structure. So let us see here. There are three types of soils, right? The first one is blocky. Blocky means when you see a soil, for example, मानो इल्लिगर पुन्ना प्लाव पुरे इंट्रो स्टोन्स उन्हें क्या करना है? इन्हें तो गोलाकार वाला उन्हें क्या करना है? So अभी rocky soils हैं. So they will be like this. Okay, different shape लो उन्हें क्या करना है? Blocky. Rocky, blocky soils, blocky rocks. Next, see here. What is the second one? Columnar. Columnar means, मानो ये जना hill places के लाओ उनका हम्म. Hills and mountains नहीं के लाओ उनको. You can see these type of soils. Columnar soils. अंडे कौन-कौन प्रदेश में चोर ने? इलाकों का blocks टेप उन तरह का columns टेप हो. So these are called columnar soils. Next. Granular soils. Granular means small particles. Granular means small particles. And the ila particle dhaane mane hand ke sense ke listar gaya. Ila touche gaye. What be granular soils are? So hills, mountains type unte abhi columnar, ivi blocky soils, ivi small particles unte granular soil. So 
by seeing ante mana eyes tho manam chudagane you can say the soil structure that is the second property of soils next what is the third property what is the third one children the third one is water holding capacity what water holding capacity water holding capacity so when you come to water holding capacity three types of soils we have so this is this is different for three types of soils ante prathi soil water ni hold cheyalamma because edana oka mokka edagalante it needs water and air and soil too so aa soil lo manu for example indlo chodandi sayantram matlu pagalo indlo mokkalu neelle estam kada endi estam for the growth of plant a plant growth avvalante we need to pull, we need to pour some water so our soil a water ni stick cheskoni unchukovali ante a water ni hold cheyali that is comes under water holding capacity so three types of soils have different clay clay soil is known it has very high capacity of water holding alage loamy soil ki kuda high capacity of water holding but sandy soil ki unda led because it is used for house constructions the third component of soil properties is water holding capacity and next fourth one what fourth one the fourth one is soil color what soil color can you differentiate this let's see soil color means for example clay soil is known for example for example we see first clay soil ye color lo untadu amma it is grey in color or cement in color so clay soil okay. so by seeing the color of the soil you can differentiate or you need to tell what is the type of soil it was so in clay soil it is what clay soil is let's see here clay it is cement in color sandy light yellow loamy means brown in color so these are the types of color of soil so let us see what holding capacity also in this book okay these are the properties of soils next next topic what is the next topic what is the next topic effects of soil on plants effect of soil on plants so we already discussed that we have three types of soils right three types of soils so those three types of soils should have water holding capacity so first mana intlo normal ga penchukuntam kada amma mokkalu vaati use chese soil enta amma loamy or sandy or or clay what is the soil we use loamy soil why because loamy soil is rich in minerals loamy soil is rich in minerals so that's why we use loamy soil for plants growth the vegetables and all those things let us see a picture of this let us see this is loamy soil right so this we use for forming and for cultivation this is sandy sandy soil means groundnuts carrots all those forms under sandy soil next what is clay soil clay soil has high capacity of holding water so flowers and gardenings are used to used to be used clay soil so these are the effects of soil on plants okay here we completed this next what is the second topic that we are going to learn today soil erosion what soil erosion soil erosion what is meant by soil erosion is anybody know or not okay let's see what is soil erosion we all know about soil for our cultivation growing plants trees fruits everything that 
that we are using nowadays to knead soil. So, the removal of topmost layer of soil is called soil erosion. What? Removal of topmost layer. We have different layers for our soil. The removal of this layer, removal of topmost layer, topmost layer of soil is called soil erosion. What? Soil erosion, E-R-O-S-I-O-N, erosion. So, the removal of this topmost layer of soil is called soil erosion. In a soil erosion, there are no intent of man. Here in our plant, we have also nutrients, supplements, minerals. So, erase it. So, topmost layer lo unde anmi nutrients erase it. So, removal of topmost layer of soil is called soil erosion. Got it? Next. What are the effects of soil erosion? What are the causes? What are the causes of soil erosion? The soil erosion is caused. What are the causes of soil erosion? The soil erosion is caused by first thing, wind, winds and rains. What? Winds and rains. And the second one. Animals. Animals grazing. Okay, animals grazing. And that means nothing but first, first end of winds and rains. And that is a wash of the water. The water is the water. The water is the soil. The soil is the topmost layer. The river flow type is the water. So, and the water is the water. So, soil erosion is caused by winds and rains. And animals. Animals are the causes. That's your question, right? So animals in the point there. For example, mana polarla atlo chonde, mana palladurla atlo, mekno, owlu, vaatni polarlo tis ke lojas. Avengers ne mo pahi na gaddi di gaste. Ha gaddi to parte first chonde topmost layer of soil ko lojas na. So ala ala mala akram mandi mo plant ga ni jane ala ala ki it requires more time. Okay? So causes of soil erosion are winds and rains and Animals grazing. Grazing is the norm. Okay? Next. What is the next topic? What is the next topic? Soil pollution. What? Soil pollution. What? Soil pollution. How the soil is getting polluted? How? How the soil is getting polluted? By dumping. Dumping means my infrastructure is not going to be able to do it. It is not going to be able to do it. So that's why soil is getting polluted. And next, construction activities. Construction activities. And the illegal is not going to be able to do it. So, we will dig the soil in the automatic way. So, we will dig the soil in the automatic way. So, in that way, soil is getting polluted. Next, third one, factories. What? Factories. And then, we will dig the soil in the automatic way. So, in that way, soil is getting polluted. So, in that way, soil is getting polluted. Next, मरे तो soil pollution जब कोन उन्हें ले इंजे, इंजे ले plant more trees, इंजे ले plant more trees, okay और grow, grow more plants and trees, okay in that way we can avoid soil pollution. Next, मालूम है इन्हें चप्पल इंडी, what Soil erosion जरूरत हैं दी दानवानों में हम चाला प्रोसेस बहुत ना होने चाहिए। So what are the effects of soil erosion? Plants are growing up and in that 
में we are going to learn soil. Okay? So here we completed our topic soils. Okay? Thank you.